Welcome to Meet the Press. I'm Chuck Todd, and I'm still figuring out my whole look. <laughs> As always, I'm joined by some of the leading journalists in the world, Pulitzer Prize-winning writer and columnist for The Washington Post, Eugene Robinson. Uh, thank you for having me. Best-selling author and columnist for The Wall Street Journal, Peggy Noonan. Hi, Chuck. And political strategist, author, and former chair of the DNC, Donna Brazil. Great to be here. All right. Let's start with what everyone's talking about. In a new low for journalism, the National Enquirer was accused this week of blackmailing Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos. You're all highly respected journalists, so when all is said and done, what do you think Jeff Bezos' penis is going to look like? Excuse me? I know normally high-minded journalists wouldn't talk about something like this. But it does involve the richest man in America and the President of the United States. So, Jeff Bezos' penis. What do you think it's gonna look like? You know, I I'm gonna jump right in, Chuck. Now, when I hear billionaire's penis, I immediately think small potatoes. You know, it's <laughs> like they say, if it's small and looks funny, you better have the money, honey. <laughs> small potatoes? Eugene, your thoughts. Well, as a journalist, uh, this was not something I ever thought I'd have to cover. But as a human being, I'm naturally curious. Uh, <laughs> is he working with something the size of an Amazon Echo, or is it more of a dot? <laughs> My money's on Echo. Now, there are obviously major implications for the story beyond Jeff Bezos' penis. It brings up issues of blackmail, invasion of privacy, and potentially even crimes committed by foreign agents. So my question is, what do you think the coloration is like? <laughs> oh, my God, Chuck! I'll take this one. I think it's gonna be splotchy, Chuck. A man his age, plus he's a runner. I mean, it's probably jangled around a lot down there. Over time, that's gonna lead to some patchy sections. Oh, no, 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 I completely disagree, Peggy. He's a man of means, so I'm sure that there are oils or precious minerals that can smooth and replenish that color. <laughs> What is happening right now? <laughs> and Eugene, what do you think this says about our country in general right now? Well, it's disgraceful, Chuck. It's awful. I mean, this is a clear violation of someone's privacy. And what about when the pictures do come out? I will look at them. <laughs> I'll make them into hilarious memes, and I'll send them to all my friends. Now, obviously, the mainstream media has a responsibility to handle the story in a mature adult manner. Uh, as you can see from the New York Post headline yesterday, Bezos exposes Pecker. Eugene, what do you think of that? It's insane. If you call yourself a respectable publication, I would have gone with your Amazon package is on its way. <laughs> I mean, that's just me. Huh. Well, that's, that's interesting. See, I would have done stroke of genius. Bezos gives Pecker the shaft. <laughs> Did you guys make your own fake headlines? All right, let's pivot away from penises for a moment. Aww. And focus on the State of the Union. The president used his speech to champion his tax cuts and his policy of deregulation. Uh, here to explain further is the Secretary of Commerce, billionaire Wilbur Ross. <laughs> Sorry, before we started, the producer put something in my ear, and I've been hearing ghosts. Oh, <laughs> no, Wilbur, that's just an earpiece, so you can uh, hear what we're saying. But it sounded like you kept saying penis. <laughs> yes, uh, we were talking about the Jeff Bezos story. Well, I don't want to talk about penises. <laughs> I'm one of the guys. I like watching sports and drinking a cold glass of blood. <laughs> Okay, great. Uh, so, Mr. Ross, you're, you're familiar with this story, then? Uh, yes, of course. Well, I know what a dick pic is. <laughs> That's when you hire the services of 10 homeless gentlemen, and they show you their penises, and you pick one, and you say, let's switch. <laughs> and you give them $100, and now their penis is your penis. <laughs> but choose carefully, because if it's too big, he'll fall over. <laughs> Okay, my thanks to Mr. Ross. 
Of course, yesterday, congressional testimony from acting attorney general Matthew Whitaker turned extremely contentious. Uh, here with his side of the story is Matt Whitaker. Yeah, what? <laughs> Mr. Uh, Mr. Whitaker? Hurry up, Chuck. I don't got a lot of time. Very true. Uh, you're almost done with your tenure in the Justice Department? Yeah, that's right. I was U.S. Attorney General for three months, and soon I will go back to my job of breaking up fights on the Jerry Springer show. <laughs> Sir, will the Justice Department investigate the claims that Jeff Bezos has made against the Inquirer and against the President? Uh, I don't really have any... Uh, a lot of sympathy for Jeff Bezos because every time I post a photo of myself on Instagram, it get flags, gets flagged as a dick pic. <laughs> and, and, and just to be clear, President Trump never directed you to interfere in the Mueller investigation? Well, you know what, Chuck? I'm, I'm gonna say something I left out of my testimony, and this is gonna blow everything out of the water here. Mr. Trump actually called me and whispered Ooh, uh, to me... I'm sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I'm being told that the Bezos picks have actually come out at this very moment. Oh, Christmas in February. <laughs> All right, let's stay on this topic for the entire show, and live from New York, it's Saturday night.